Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. Right now we're going to take a look at one of the most beautiful films ever made. Every frame is a painting. Often called the Italian Gone with the Wind, dare I say it, I like this movie better than Gone with the Wind. And begin negative user comments right now. Um, the, I also love the trailer of this movie. It's very unusual. Uh, the lead actor was so proud of the work that he did that he looks right directly into the lens and tells you why you should see it. So I'm going to be quiet for about a minute and let Burt Lancaster sell you on the leopard. Hello. Occasionally a role and a picture are so impressive that we behind the camera want to shout about it from the rooftops. I have just been privileged to work in such a picture. The film is The Leopard from the celebrated bestseller and it provides one of the most challenging roles it's ever been my good fortune to portray. The beautiful Claudia Cardinale and Alan Delon are also starred under the masterful direction of Lucchino Visconti. As you know, The Leopard won the Golden Palm Award for the best picture of 1963 at the Cannes International Film Festival. So it is a fitting offering to come to you from 20th Century Fox, who also gave you The Longest Day and Cleopatra. This is epic filming at its very finest. Everyone behind the camera doing amazing work. Cinematographer Giuseppe Rotuno, music by the one and only Nina Rota, Costumes by Piero Tosi, who gets the film's only Oscar nomination. A team of Italian screenwriters whose great work ranges from Bicycle Thieves to Once Upon a Time in America. And of course, the director. Visconti is truly a master, doing this after the brilliant neorealism of Rocco and his brothers. The Leopard is about the final days of the aristocracy, a man seeing his world, his traditions come to an end. The film was very influential on Scorsese and Coppola. You will recognize a lot of The Godfather here, the transition of power to a younger generation. The title comes from a great line in the film. We were the leopards, the lions. Those who take our place will be jackals and sheep. Rumor is that Visconti originally wanted Laurence Olivier for the Lancaster role, which is funny because Olivier was also Coppola's first choice for Don Corleone. Sometimes it works out better when you don't get your way. And holy moly, just look at Claudia Cardinale in this film. She may be the most gorgeous creature in the history of movies. I have so much respect for Burt Lancaster around this time period, he really used his stardom to make a lot of challenging films. He gives perhaps his best performance in The Leopard. Unfortunately, he is dubbed into Italian in the longer, preferable prints of the film. There is an American dub version where you can hear Lancaster's actual voice, but it has over 20 minutes of cuts. the powerful, tender, moving moods of the monumental novel come to life on the screen.